Hello and welcome to Stage 2 coverage of the 2022 ESX Esport Championship presented by Yamaha in Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game 5. We're watching the PlayStation players compete in Stage 2 right here. Three riders will go through to the finals, which will be at a live event in 2023. And all these guys will be vying for the chance at winning a Yamaha Monster Energy YZ450F, a Yamaha YZ125, and a Yamaha TTR 110E as they are going to try to qualify through out of stage two into the finale as they were able to get here based on a time trial run in stage one uh, time trial was all of stage one where they're trying to actually qualify their way into stage two right here this is a race now in stage two we're gonna have three races this is a seeding race right now so we can get gate selections for those all important qualifying races and uh, they were able to select gates in the seeding race based off of their qualifying times that they put down in stage one so stage two is this three race format three riders go through but two riders critically will go through in the second race which is the first qualifying race and then one rider will make it up in the last chance qualifier race to make up three riders going through for each of the console disciplines so we'll have three riders from playstation that you're watching here three riders from pc and three riders from xbox so we'll get into the racing action now as we watch this seeding race and pretty much no surprise to see top seed in playstation axis out front here in the seeding race and uh axis is very well known for his uh incredibly high paced hot laps and speed that he's able to put down in these monster energy supercross video games it's been no different so far in monster energy supercross the official official video game five four axis so getting out front early on but some chaos ensuing behind these guys cheeseheads he goes down while he was in a battle with slow and an air jordan uh trying to get in the mix saltman 17 moving up into third place you also have parker 75 74 who is our uh, uh second seed coming into this one and uh, these guys all qualified on a different track, but this is now the racetrack, which is Arlington 1 in Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game 5. And of course, they are now trying to just set up where they're going to start in the all-important qualifying race coming up in just a moment. So this is a short race distance. They're not racing in a land event, so they're not going to have collisions on right now, which means they can go through each other in the game. Uh, for us in race director mode, it may look a little bit funky sometimes because when they actually hit each other, the race director mode believes that there is still contact uh, allowed, but uh, they're going through each other in the game. So when we're watching it, it's going to be a little bit of a, a weird vibe or sense of moments here and there. But for them, they cannot hit each other, and they're doing that just because this is a, uh, a full online event, not a LAN event, and you don't want to be... Uh, you know, hit off a berm awkwardly or have any port of, any sort of lag problems that could keep you out of the finals. So they're just making it as fair as possible. No collisions. The lag is not an effectant whatsoever. And like I said, no surprise to see Axis out front and pulling away. Parker 7574 was able to get in about a half a second behind of uh, Axis when they had their qualifying in time trial. And he was your second seed, but Axis was the only rider in qualifying to get down into the 44 second range uh, on the track that they did for stage one. So for stage two here, getting out front <clears throat> early on and showing what he's made of here at Arlington one, as he's pulled out about a four second advantage now on Parker. You got Sloan and Saltman still battling for fourth place, but we're starting to see uh, what Axis is capable of on these racetracks. And it is pretty impressive what he's able to do. One of the fastest riders in the game across all consoles and certainly factors to be one of the guys that if he makes it through today will factor in to be a, uh, a serious threat to try to win the whole thing when we have the live event in 2023 for those finals so exciting to get to that point as well but right now we're talking about this seeding race and how axis is able to take advantage of this one get a good gate selection and try to get another good start in the qualifying race coming up here in a few minutes Parker 75, 74 still holding on to P2. He's six seconds back. Starting to have slow and 156 close up on him just a little bit now from third place. He was battling that with Saltman, but uh, now it's it's a close battle between Parker and slow. And I think we're going to jump back to that battle in just a minute, a minute as Axis got a little sideways after the finish line jump. But here is that battle now for second place. All comes down to gate selection, but Parker been losing time a little bit here to slow and 156. And it is almost down to no time between the two of them as they head into the whoop section. Nose to tail, not too far behind them is Saltman17. And we only had six riders today as uh, many alternates and 
qualified players were not able to make it to this race. Uh, so this is one of the races that we didn't have too many people actually make it to, but a lot of riders did end up qualifying as, wow, Parker does make a critical mistake right there. He went down and reset now behind Sloan, but still ahead of Saltman critically. It's a three rider battle here for second place still, but Parker, who had been in second place since basically the beginning of this thing, has now slipped back to third and has Saltman 17 right behind him as we work on to the final lap of this seeding race. So Axe is out in front. He has got this thing pretty well and under control at this point in time. Good battle right now for second place, though. And who is going to get this spot and that all-important second gate pick? They're all trying to get basically a better outside gate selection on this one as there is no collisions going into the first corner. So you want your best apex into the first corner so you can launch all the way out to that tabletop off the backside of that berm in the first turn. And Axis is going to set himself up well perfectly here with that outside gate pick going into the qualifying race as Axis takes the seeding race win for the PlayStation group. Sloan trying to hold off. Saltman did get around Parker and Sloan into the last corner. Oh, it got close, but it's slow and Saltman Parker across the line, nearly nose to tail. Really, really close right there between those guys as uh, not sure why, but Axis keeps resetting and going back across the track right there. Air Jordan will end up in fifth and Cheeseheads is going to round out our running order here in sixth place, but a close finish there in the end uh, for two through four, but it goes to Sloan in second. Axis takes the win. He will take with him gate selection number one. And now we head into the first qualifying race, which will have two riders from this PlayStation group go through to the finale in 2023. Let's find out who they are going to be as we head into the first qualifier here at the ESX Esports Championship presented by Yamaha. The PlayStation group, a lot of guys hitting the gate and through right next to the box, Sloan 156 going to rip a huge hole shot. He does have Axis right behind him who actually almost went over that tabletop out of the first corner, but Sloan, after getting second in that first race, able to come through and get the hole shot. Saltman 17 though, around the outside through the triple triple section, takes over the race lead. Slowing back to second, Axis in third. Bit of a mixed bag order right now as Slowen almost jumps into those fly racing tough blocks. But it is going to be Saltman from Slowen, Axis, and Parker over the line at the end of lap number one. Air Jordan falling back a little bit as Saltman goes down on that wall jump. Oh man, we'd said it a couple times with that crossover line between the wall it is so tricky to get right. And now Slowen goes to the race lead. Axis trying to fight back. Slowing on the 7, Axis on the 27, and Parker back there on the 14. So you guys can a little bit more easily follow who is who on the track right here, but Slowing doing a great job opening this up. Nah, maybe not. Look at this inside move for Axis pulls up alongside on the Dragon's back, and now Axis goes to the race lead. Slowing tries to go back down the inside right there, but Axis has got that position. And now for Slowing, try to latch on to Axis, maybe try to get him back even but cannot allow Parker to get close. And now Axis makes a mistake. So Sloan does go back to the race lead. He makes a mistake though, slides out in that corner and Axis takes it back over. So these two fighting each other has really allowed Parker to get back into the picture. And here's the battle for second. Parker gonna pull up alongside of Sloan into the next corner. And he has got that pass done or has he? No, look at that Sloan around the outside, keeping it on. But now through this rhythm section, it looks as though Parker is going to triple, triple cleanly to the inside and will get that pass done for second. Actually gained a little bit of time on Axis as well. So now our top two seeds are one and two in this race and Sloan has got to try to stick with Parker here, not let these two get away and hope that maybe if they start messing with each other out front, he can take advantage of either some mistakes, a crash, or even them just slowing each other down by racing each other instead of trying to race the clock in this one because uh, it doesn't matter for them. They just have to actually make it through in second or first place out of this one to qualify for the finals. And as there is no collisions, it's really about putting down your best hot laps, not worrying about who's behind you or where they are on the racetrack. You can see Parker actually putting some pressure right now on Axis. Oh, he shorted that triple though right there and lost some time. So Axis opens it back up. That allows Sloan back into the picture a little bit though. Back on board with Axis out front as we're going to switch to a different view and see what he's looking at over the line here. 1.4 seconds now. Not too much between second and third as we go back to Sloan on the seven and trying to push up to Parker 75-74 just ahead of him. So it looks like right now at least 
Barring a mistake from Axis, it's going to come down to these two trying to battle for this final transfer spot. But man, Parker, with that second seed, certainly knows pace-wise how to get away from Sloan if he can just put some laps down right now. So Sloan, kind of pressure still is on him to hit his marks, not make too many mistakes, and put a little bit more heat on Parker. Again, as there's no collisions, it's, it's not like Parker has to worry about a, a desperation block pass or anything like that. But you do start hearing a bike behind you and you know what position you're in. You know that qualifying spot is up for grabs. You do not want to lose a position to the man who can take that spot away from you. As Sloan just hanging back there in the background. Keeping the pressure on. Keeping it close as he possibly can. But nothing really has changed in the last lap and a half or so. Axe is still with a two second lead. Parker about a second between him and Sloan. They have opened up the gap on Saltman 17, so it's kind of between the two of them unless both of them crash. Just a half second in and between the two of them, and this time Sloan got that triple-triple really good as Parker made a mistake. And now Sloan's closed that gap back down again. It's going to be two to go this time by as time continues to click away. Axis checked in out front with about 41 seconds still on the clock. And these guys run in those kind of mid 40s range lap times so back through into the whoop section and you can see slow and he's just just trying to hit his marks as well and push a little bit closer here and there to parker and maybe pressure parker into a mistake but parker has been unwavering so far hitting his marks as well Ooh, that's a mistake though. Lands on some tough blocks and then cases that triple. So Sloan's going to close right back up. And now they might go side by side through this section. Look at Sloan to the outside. He's going to try to use that outside to his advantage. It turns to the inside right here. Wow, what a move for Sloan. Into that second position. Parker going to fight back immediately as they go side by side over that wall jump. And it looks like Sloan actually got a little bit off kilter going over that wall. So Parker goes back into second place, but it is not over yet here on this last lap of the race. Axis out front has this thing all but locked up unless a late mistake costs him. This battle for second is on though. Can slow and fight back and take it back away from Parker? Only a few turns to go. Parker gets this section much cleaner, slowing into the tough blocks and now off the track and resets. That is the end of his chance right there. Meanwhile, up front, Axis, our number one seed, goes to the ESX finals in 2023. Parker crosses the line in second. He's going to the finals as well. And Sloan is going to have to go to the LCQ and try to win it there as Saltman 17 crosses in fourth. Air Jordan 72 will finish this one up in fifth. And we wait for Cheeseheads to bring this thing home in sixth. But a very, very close battle there between Parker and Sloan ends up with Sloan making that late mistake jumping off the track and being reset. So Parker able to cruise it home in second. And that is going to be a huge sigh of relief for him. But again, Axis, kind of the man of PlayStation that we've seen over the last few years, gets it done and goes to the finals along with Parker 7574 as they will join the PC uh, and Xbox players for that final race in 2023 at a live event. But there is still one more race yet to run. It is the last chance qualifier. One spot up for grabs. Four riders in this PlayStation group going for it. Can Sloan get it done or will Saltman pull off an upset? Maybe Cheeseheads or Air Jordan pick up the pace and get into the battle. We are off and running in this one to the outside in the first section right there. Big mistake as Saltman goes to the race lead and it's Sloan right behind him. So maybe this is the battle we were waiting to see between our third and fourth place riders. But man, Sloan was putting the pressure on Parker in that qualifying race so you'd have to imagine he's feeling the flow and can pick up the pace here to try to get around Saltman. but this is exactly what Saltman 17 needed to do is get out in front of Sloan, maybe put the pressure on Sloan to respond but here we go through the mechanics area Sloan down the inside gonna take the lead oh he clips that huge barrier up the inside though jumping into the whoops and that cost him a lot of time so Saltman now has a bit of a gap to work with as he retakes the lead. Air Jordan, Cheeseheads, they are both still right there. Our top four are not that far apart from each other. So if either Saltman or Sloan have a big mistake, you can see those guys jump into the mix as well. But again, only one rider going through from this group. So it is critical stage here for Sloan to pick up the pace. 
as it is for Air Jordan and Cheeseheads to, to stay with Sloan and not let Saltman17 pull this thing away. It's a one second lead for him right now. And we have quite a bit of the race still remaining. So can Saltman respond to this pressure and pull that gap back away? Or will Sloan with the raw pace that he showed in that first qualifying race close this gap down? He's got three and a half minutes plus that one lap to work with. And a spot at the ESX Esport Championship presented by Yamaha Finale in 2023 at a live event that we'll all be at and excited to see for stage three of this competition as Sloan makes another critical mistake right there. Lands on a tough block in the rhythm section and that has cost him a ton of time now. Air Jordan actually closed up behind him but the gap now over three seconds. Ugh. That is going to be a huge blow for Sloan. He's got to make up all that time and then pass Saltman. And it is really tricky to do. All of these competitors are so close in lap times on this Arlington 1 racetrack. Not really sure who it's going to be to actually pick up the pace at this point in time. Maybe Saltman17 with a bit of breathing room feels the confidence at this stage to open that gap up. But I'd have to imagine Sloan going to be riding as hard as he possibly can to close the gap down. Already has it under three seconds again, about two and a half seconds. And credit to Eric Jordan right now because he is stuck right with Sloan through all of this chaos. Oh, Sloan off the left side of the track has to clip a tough block to, tough block to come back on. Eric Jordan sees that another opportunity to stay close, but man, that's just allowing Saltman a huge gap at this point in time. Over five seconds now for Saltman out front. So for Saltman, this is turning into a bit of a cruise control race if he can manage it. Again, depends on whether he feels maybe more comfortable just hitting his, his normal pace or whether he's going to be happier as Air Jordan goes off the track, has to hop back on. That did cost him a, quite a bit of time though. So he was only uh, right behind Sloan by maybe a second or so has now dropped about two, two and a half seconds behind him. But if you're Saltman, ideal scenario right here because you have four seconds to work with. You can either stay focused and try to continue to push the lead ahead, or you could actually settle it back down. And even if you only lose a second or two per lap, as it's still out over five seconds right now, uh, you're going to go ahead and take home this win as we are down to the final three laps of this one. The minute left on the clock, it looks like Saltman will get another time through the flag, but then time will certainly expire after that before they get to the flag again, which will allow the white flag to be displayed. So about two and a half, even less than that laps to go now for our race leader Saltman as he is just continuing to work this lead and manage the gap out front and done exactly what he needed to do as he came in as our sixth seed into this one, really our fourth seed overall that actually raced this event, but our sixth seed on time and he is now in a prime position to join our one and two seed Axis and Parker as part of the PlayStation group going to the finals. Sloan is trying so hard that you can see how hard he's pushing into those whoops, scrubbing this double in, tripling up onto the plateau and off. Going through that berm, step on, step off, and then just keep that front tire right over the tip top of these jumps to stay as low as you possibly can. Hit your marks to get this triple to the inside. I mean, credit to him. He's got it under three seconds. He is pushing the pace. And we'll have to see lap time wise. He's probably running the best lap of the race as well doing this. But this is going to be the white flag moment right here for Saltman. As Sloan cases the Supercross triple a little bit. One lap left to go. One more opportunity for Sloan to try to claw this thing back in his favor. But it is slipping from his grasp of opportunity. Saltman 17. With a four second lead as they go through the whoops one more time. Trying to bring this thing home. You got to give credit to Sloan. He did not give up even with that five second deficit. He just put the hammer down and tried to close this gap down. But it looks as though he is going to run out of time. Saltman 17 with a couple turns to go. Is going to take... A third in the first race, a fourth in the second race, and then come all the way through to take all the marbles in the last one. Saltman 17 goes to the ESX Esport Championship Finale. Slow in 156 will cross in second. He will be the first alternate. Air Jordan in third, and Cheeseheads will round out this race as Saltman 17 joins Axis 
and Parker 7574 as the PlayStation group to go through to the final round of the ESX Esports Championship presented by Yamaha. What a great race, though. Congratulations to all the competitors that made it through into Stage 2. And, of course, to Saltman17 for winning the LCQ in this one and joining Axis and Parker7574 in the finale. So we'll see you guys in 2023 at a live event for the finale of the ESX Esports Championship presented by Yamaha. This has been Stage 2, done and dusted for PlayStation.